What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and today we are going to be talking about why this is still my favorite accessory for my Galaxy Z Fold 5. So let's do it. Okay, so granted, this device is gonna cost you a hundred bucks, but what I can tell you is if you notice, there is a toggle switch on there and you can swap between Z Fold 5 or Z Fold and S Pen. So this is a dual device that is gonna work with your S23s, your S22s, your S21s, your Samsung S8 Pluses, your S9s and all that thing, tablet-wise and all this stuff. So. Um, anything that has S Pen capability is basically gonna be able to use this device in some form or fashion, even some of your Galaxy books and things of that nature. But this is the device that I love. This is my favorite device of the year, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and this pen is awesome. So it works with this device, but just remember, you gotta put it in the Z Fold mode. If it's in the S Pen mode, let's just see what happens. Boom. It gives you this, switch the mode. It's not made for this, switch the mode. So hit okay, and then we swap the modes. And then you are going to be good to use this with your Z Fold devices. Now, with that in mind, this does have to charge. It is Bluetooth capable, but you do have to charge it from time to time. Charges via USB Type-C. The writing experience on here is very fluid, very unique. I like the writing experience. And what we'll do is we will just open up an S note and we'll get a new note out here, just like so. And precision is there. Your ability to be able to draw shapes and I'm not the best artist, but when I hold down, these shapes basically become real shapes. Even if you're highlighting or underlining, you can make a real straight line if you need to. So the precision is there, the pressure sensitivity is there, everything that we need, all dynamics for a good writing experience, a good clean writing experience are all there. I went to a all day convention. I was able to use this to take notes all day. Battery life was awesome on it. And like I said, you can get a regular old S Pen. Now just keep in mind, you can buy a whole case that comes with this S Pen, but this S Pen is not Bluetooth compatible. Doesn't do any of that stuff. One of the best parts about using this S Pen with this device is that it is Bluetooth connected. So. If you are, let's say, in your gallery and you want to swipe through the pictures without touching the display, push down on your air action button and it allows you to just basically scroll through the different photos, go forward, just like so. And you don't even have to touch the display. If you want to touch the display, fine. But for the most part, you can do this with your gallery. You can also go into your music and you can change the song, play the song, things of that nature just like so. So if you click here, boom, plays music, and you wanna go up on your volume, goes up, 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 so, and we'll stop that music. We don't want any copyright issues. But for the most part, it is a really good feature. It is not like 100% accurate every single time, but for the most part, I'm not just sitting there swiping, swiping, swiping. I'm just tapping on it, letting it play, letting it do its thing. Now, the other good thing about this is once you buy this, if you have one of these, which is a Samsung tablet, which is one of my other like favorite devices, this is the Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. So if you have one of these devices, and we'll just put it on the stand for right now so, you can, so you'll be able to see everything that's going on with it. Once you have this device, if you use it here, now you actually have to swap the mode again to an S Pen mode, just like so. You're gonna connect it. Sometimes it'll connect right away, sometimes it won't. Uh, basically, if it doesn't connect, you gotta take the pen off the back because it's actually sensing two devices, which I do actually have an S Pen already connected on back. But this S Pen is gonna work exactly the same. It will let you 
like write with it and do things like that. But in order to control your music, your photos and things like that, you have to connect it via Bluetooth. So like I said, this is probably one of the best, most versatile devices that I have been able to use. It has pinpoint precision when you're writing. It's actually Bluetooth connectivity, so you can control your device without even touching it. And it's just an all around great package to have. And also comes with this nice little pouch. Put it in there. Now, I lose this thing a lot. So it's very uh, cumbersome to carry. But I do, I do, I have found a specific place in my bag and I do have a brand new bag that I'm going to be showing you my Samsung carry, my Samsung everyday carry very shortly. You'll get to see what I carry as far as Samsung. Then I'm going to do an iPad carry with my iPhone and things like that just to show you what I take with me on a daily basis. If you like this stand, this stand is actually from the company Subcase. I've done a bunch of reviews <laughs> with this in there and maybe like two separate reviews of just this stand itself. I have had this thing for years. I really recommend it. Like it holds everything from tablets to uh, gaming systems to phones, you name it, it holds it really good really sturdy have not had any issues with it over the years so i'll drop a link below you'll check this out um, in that link but these are my devices this is my favorite phone this is my favorite accessory as of right now it checks all the boxes it does everything with all my devices and i take this with me wherever i go when i'm using any of my samsung gear so hopefully this has been able to help someone out. I'll be sure to drop links below so you can check this stuff out for yourself. Right now, I think if you go by and purchase these things like in the next few days or so, Samsung is having a pretty decent sale on all this stuff. a matter of fact, we know that the S, the Tab S8 Plus is still on sale. They're selling the nines. That's the newest one, but the eights are still available. So I think this is a really great deal. If you're looking for a Samsung tablet, you'll pay like 600 bucks for it. If you're trading something in, I think maybe. No, no, no. These are like 600 bucks, like legit out the door. Um, if you're trading one of these in for a nine, you will be able to get that nine for like right at 700 bucks. So just keep that in mind. But um, hopefully this is able to help somebody out. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.